Fallen Men, a short stage play by Laurel Green. A graveside. A funeral service has recently ended. Charlie stands quietly at the graveside. Kevin approaches. End of an era. Not seen you in a long time. Do you remember me, Charlie? I know who you are. Service was a bit dull. Thought I'd got the wrong funeral. The cast of Britain's Most Wanted and half a dozen plain clothes cops weren't a giveaway. Where'd you get that vicar from? He didn't have a clue. He's local. He knew about Dad. I told him. Fallen. Wally the Wire Briggs, a fallen man. Flawed. Who wrote that crap? I'll tell you who fell. Blokes who connected with his fist. Blokes who crossed him, they fell. They was flawed. Down like a sack of spuds they went, and worse. There's drinks on at the boar's head. You can share all your stories down there. There's a bar tab. Should last a good few hours, even with you lot. Great turnout, weren't it? Good to see so many of the old boys paying their respects. You'll be missed. You'll miss him. Especially with your mum gone. Just you now. I'm used to missing him. Been missing him all my life. This is a bit like another 10 stretch, except he's not coming out. Wally said he was a chip off the old block. Yeah. I know. Said it didn't matter you was a girl, you was smart, quick. Yeah. Funny name though. What? Charlie. I always thought that was weird. You can spell it with a Y, but it's still a boy's name, ain't it? And? I don't get chip off the old block. What? Why is it good, chip off the old block? The block bit I get, Wally. He was a block, sure. Strong, solid, tough, useful, but a chip, a chip's like tiny. A bit that falls on the floor and you chuck it away. Chips are like, well, well, chips are things you dunk in salt, squash them, eat them up. Is there something you want? Oh, it's okay. You never know what's around the corner, do you? One minute you're fine and the next. Didn't surprise me. His diet wasn't great. He liked to drink, well, several drinks. I'm sure you know that. I know lots of things. Yeah. You want to count, eh? That's where the money is now, ain't it? Don't need to leave home to nick stuff these days. How lazy is that? Make a million sitting on your ass. Tap, tap, tap on a computer, make a few calls. Yeah, I'm straight. It's all legit. Doing all right, ain't you? Nice house you got. What? How, how do you know? Where you live? Not hard to find out where you live, love. I won't be the only one. What do you want? I want what's mine. What I'm owed. 70 grand. 70,000 pounds? Your dad was keeping it safe. But he's gone. So now it's down to you to get it. This is a wind up, yeah? Dad hasn't seen you in years and you turn up to my money. Do I look like I'm joking? Your father died holding a lot of other people's money. Those people will now be coming after you. I want to be first in line. You're threatening me? Here. At my dad's funeral. Did you see how many cops are around? They're probably still here. We're just having a quiet chat. I'm comforting you in your loss. See? I'm holding your hand. You're a bit wobbly. Kevin grips Charlie's hand tightly. She struggles to pull away. Let me go. I want what I'm owed. 
70 grand, that's all. And I'll leave you in peace. I don't have 70 grand. I told you, I'm legit. I'm just an accountant. Got a nice house. It's worth way more than 70 grand. It's mortgaged. I hardly own any of it. It's all borrowed from the bank. Then borrow some more. Or do some of your clever accounting. You must have earned loans from your dad. I know, I told you I'm legit. Well, that's your choice, but I still want my money. Whatever dad did is nothing to do with me. I was never involved. If anyone is owed money, then you can claim it through the estate. Oh, get you, Miss Upright Citizen. I'm not the cops, don't give me that shit. You know, I don't work like that. I can't help you. And he was in big trouble. Because I'm one of the nice guys. I just want my money. And I don't want to hurt you. Others will. They will hurt you. For money, for fun, for anything. Get away from me. Now. But I'll give you credit. It's not much of you, but you got guts. Now look, I'll do your deal. You need some muscle around you while you're sorting things out. You get my money first, and I'll take care of you if anyone else comes calling. And there'll be plenty of others. You know me, you know what I can do. I can't do this now. Not today. Give me time to think. Kevin lunges at Charlie grabs her and pulls her to him, pinning her arms so she can't move. No. Charlie gasps. Time's up. 70 grand, and I'm your new best friend. Otherwise, you're looking over your shoulder all the time, all day, every day. Look, Charlie, everyone's gone. It's just us here, you and me, all alone. Charlie, still pinned by Kevin, looks around frantically in all directions and sees no one. Well, Charlie, what's your answer? Charlie deftly lifts one leg off the ground and with a skilled sweeping motion, knocks Kevin's left leg out from under him. They both fall backward into the open grave. Kevin hits the top of the coffin and cries out in agony. Charlie lands on top of him. She stands up unhurt and climbs out of the grave. She looks down at Kevin, who is still moaning in pain. Look a bit like a sack of spuds down there, Mr. Roberts. I'll go get you some help. Two. Same. Same two. Maybe you got a bit more. Keep scrolling, there's a bit more. Give him a moment. Pretend you're in a theatre and this is the interval. David, you're still muted. Apologies. Scene two. Rosie sits drinking coffee. Charlie approaches, also with coffee, and sits next to Rosie. Glad to see you here. Someone you know in hospital. Hello, Charlie, love. Is he all right? I hardly touched him and he just went down. He landed really heavily. He, he was in a lot of pain. Yeah, he was fine. He's had much worse. Told you his it was gone. Riddled with arthritis like every old bugger these days. Two year waiting list for an operation, they told him, but 
a little push, a little fall, and no presto. Step to the front of the queue. He got a new whip yesterday, and he's coming home on Thursday. I didn't mean for him to land in the grey. Well, that was a nice touch, and it'll really help with the compo claim. Not just pain and suffering, but mental anguish as well. The cemetery will have good public liability. Lawyer says it'll be a doddle. Yeah, I spoke to one of the cemetery workers who came to help. No love lost there with his employers. I'll give you his number. I'm sure he'll support your claim. It probably won't be 70,000, but you should get a decent amount. It'll do nicely, love. How are you doing? Any problems? Anyone giving you grief? None so far. Good. Heard Kev telling his mates on the phone your security did him over. <laughs> Give it a few days and the words will get around. No bug run mess for you now. But what if they hear about the combo claim? Well, they'll be patting Kev on the back for a clever scam. Like he thought of it. He'll never get out that he was felled by a woman. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. Promise your mum I'd look out for you. Us girls, we'll keep an eye out. Got to stick together. You get on with your work now in peace. Will you be all right? Sure. He's going nowhere for at least six weeks. He can't drive. He's completely dependent on me. <laughs> if he plays up, I'll lick his crutches and his phone. Might take his uh, new car out for a spin. I'll be just fine. To fallen men. And rising women. I'll drink to that. The end.